pull trigger. Oh. Got the NQD hydroplane, vintage hobby grade hydroplane on the block. This is a, a boat that was sent to me from a subscriber uh, for a future project, and a future is now. <laughs> We're gonna get started on it today. We're gonna kind of get a parts list going. We're gonna pull the boat apart, gut it, take all the old electronics out. And basically, uh, basically see what we need to do to get this boat going. It'll be kind of cool to see how these boats were built back then. Uh, take the electronics, kind of do a comparison. Uh, and, and yeah, yeah. Um, it come with dual 380 brushed motors. The motors were actually used to turn, turn the boat. So we're going to pull all that out. We're going to come up with a rudder system. We're going to probably uh, order some struts of 380 brushless motors if not we're gonna we're gonna use like a 2968 brushless motor I don't know if it's gonna fit in this boat it's limited space in there this thing's tighter than a mosquito cha-cha <laughs> and I don't want to cut the hull uh, we may have to wrap the motor old school with some like copper tubes for cooling just cut down on space or use a 380 size brushless motor. I'm just wondering if a 380 size brushless motor is going to be enough power to push this big, big 7th scale hydroplane. Arr, power! We have a space issue. So I'm thinking maybe we can give the 380 brushless motor a shot. Or not. Yeah, yeah, let's just go big. Huh? <laughs> yeah. There's a couple options we can go with. You guys give me your opinion let me know what you guys think uh you know about some of my ideas some of your ideas collaboration we can get this thing to scream so uh so yeah yeah yeah. we're gonna pull it apart i hope it's not glued together around the seam here because it is a plastic boat and it's held together with screws like <laughs> probably 20 screws on this boat so i'm not going to video the whole process of getting the boat apart but i'll show you what it looks like once i do get it all loosened up hopefully it'll come apart pretty easy for us and yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see what she'll do. Yeah. Sports game. Game on. I cracked it, y'all. I cracked it. I, cr I cracked it. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Finally cracked it open. Jeez. <laughs> I had like, oh man, just, oh. Some of the screws were stripped. Some of the screws were stuck. So uh, I finally got it cracked open. Thanks to the, the drill out and I've actually kind of unscrewed them from their their plugs here so yeah this is what it looks like on the inside I was curious as to how they were sealing off the the hull of the boat the where the electronics sit and it looks like they got just like a little lip around the top side of the boat that kind of like squeezes down in this little flanged area here there's like a rubber seal in it so we're gonna have to make sure this is watertight so water stays out of this area of the boat they've used foam as flotation which lifts right out which is pretty pretty nice so it's not in the way while we're building I'll go ahead and remove all these little foam pieces there was four as you can see Let's see if we can get this one out I tried to take a couple stickers off this front canard and uh, the sticker actually peeled up some of the paint. <laughs> I'm thinking a, a red red paint job to match this this red, and uh, we'll paint it in one video, one phase. Let's take this old school ESC receiver box out. Let's open it up, see what what's inside, because it's always cool to look at this old this old electronics and just kind of see how they did it 20 years ago, 30 years ago vintage <laughs> and see see how it ran stock and then see how it run updated but wow it looks like a damn car bus fuse don't it <laughs> all right so that's the old school receiver esc combo let's see here i've got a new school this is my ztw shark esc that i just fried not too long ago 
look at the difference in workmanship technology see the MOSFETs right there got the caps looks like they got a couple of caps here but you don't see any MOSFETs that possibly is a MOSFET there so this this area here kind of looks like the radio and then the rest was the ESC probably this was for one motor this was for the second motor um, if you'll see the difference in technology from then and now it's pretty cool pretty cool to see this type of stuff like I said this is a ZTW Shark ESC that I burn up um, everything's micro sized now look at that that's awesome to see this type of stuff all right so we're gonna work on getting this out of the boat and we'll take the motors out <clears throat> so these are uh, 28 probably 45s I think 45 long 28 wide this is a 20 29 68 that's what I'm thinking about putting in this boat and I think they'll fit in this stock location hopefully hopefully bare bones bare bones it's just cool to see that old technology check this out it almost looks like a limited slip almost like a transmission like if, it, if you were to get something wound up in your propeller here it looks like it had a, a limited slip collet it's kind of cool to see too you know interested to see what it looks like all disassembled let's, uh, let's get one of these motors uncoupled from its base and see if we are going to be able to use this motor mount at all or if we're going to have to like completely modify buy or uh, custom build a, a motor mount for this for this boat so yeah that's definitely what this is like a limited slip type setup that would kind of spin spin with the motor and it went in this like silicone sleeve that silicone sleeve would would turn the propeller and if, like I said, if you got, it's a propeller got caught up on something, this would spin, this brass piece would spin inside that silicone sleeve. Motor and shaft don't actually touch at all. It's just held together by this silicone tube. Uh, let it get slip if needed. Pretty cool. I want to see if these motors work. Let's hook it up, see if it works here. Yeah, that one don't work. Let's see if this one works. Oh, that one works. All right, so that motor works, and this one here does not. More power! <laughs> the motor just kind of sat right here, just rested in there. They had like a little piece of aluminum over the top to hold it in place. If this 2968, I know it's not going to fit in there perfect, but if we were to cut this piece here out, Maybe make a custom mount. It might fit perfect in there. That the cover actually barely fit on here with this 2868 with the motor jacket. Just throwing some ideas out there, y'all. TP4060. Oh yeah. <laughs> Atraxis Venalon brushless motor on there. Yeah, so we could put an angle on it like it's supposed to. That's a 380 size brushless motor, and these are 380 size brushed motors. I could probably just get away with replacing the old brushed motor with a direct fit 380 Traxxas motor with just a few modifications. Old school with a copper tube to cut down on space. 3S per side. With this smaller motor, I wonder if it would get up over 40 miles per hour. I'm wondering. I know we can get it up over 40 with two of these bad boys. And I have two of those. With a 90 amp ESC on 3S. But it's just going to be tough to fit this motor in this boat with a water jacket. So we may have to wrap these motors. It's going to be tough. This is going to be a tough build, y'all. This is going to be a tough build. I'm going to have to put my thinking cap on for this one. I'm going to have to pull stuff out of cha-chas for this one. For sure. Maybe we can get this one to fit. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> oh. 
All right, zero it out. Yeah, I knew it was hitting something. So, zeroed out. I knew it. Oh man, it's some three and a half pounds. I knew it was hitting something. It felt heavier than two pounds. So wow. So we're uh, we're gonna have to keep this thing super light. A little over three pounds. I could run. I could run an outrunner motor on this boat. Like I've seen a couple 3555s, I think. Uh, Leopard Hobby makes it. It's an air-cooled outrunner motor, which is much lighter than this rocket motor. Much lighter. So that would conserve weight. But would it have the power to push this boat is the question. If I run the outrunner motor, I wouldn't have to do any custom cooling like I was talking about doing the old school wraps. I could just get a front mount water cooling plate, motor mount, and be done with it. Run a couple tubes and be done. Definitely can't put a 36 millimeter motor in it because it's not going to, the hatch isn't going to fit on. I don't even think it's going to fit even with it laying down like that in the, in the, in the high section. So yeah, even with it laying down, a, a 36 millimeter motor with a water jacket's not going to fit. And we're barely going to fit this 28 millimeter motor in here with the hatch on it, with a, with a water jacket. See, it, it fits, but it, it's almost got to lay flat for it to fit. Mild to wild has given me a challenge here. <laughs> I believe he gave me a challenge. So this is not going to be an overnight build right here for sure. So it looks like they run straight shafts for this guy. I have to dig all this out. Almost looks like hot glue. <laughs> All right, so now I got the receiver box out. We can see what kind of batteries we want to run. Batteries probably need to be back here. All right. Four power! <laughs> so let's see how these 4S batteries fit in here. 3200 milliamp 4S packs. Let's see if we can put the top on it. Okay, so we cannot put the top on it with two 4S batteries stacked unless unless we cut this guy here out. Okay, so once we cut that out, maybe even put a support like up here a little bit higher so that we can stack our batteries. Unless we have enough room to run them like that. And then we put our ESCs up forward here. But we need to keep our weight center, centralized. Okay, so she's wanting to lean right there. With two, so she's still wanting to lean. Okay, so about right there is our balance now. Third. So that might work. Probably going to work with two... 4S packs, so we'll run 4S on each side. Try to fit some 2868s in here. 290 amp fly colors, 4S on each side. I'll bet you money she'll scream. Or power! What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Y'all comment. Y'all comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, you know, any ideas? We're building this boat for performance. So I removed that little trim fin that helped keep the boat trimmed out. And we're going to put a rudder on here. This rudder is from a, a, a hydroplane, the Miss Vegas. And uh, it should work. It should work for this boat. It's got like a really like tall base. So we're probably going to have to install just the, like the bottom screw. And then once we put the top on, install and seal up the top screw. So uh, we're going to do all this in our first, in our first like episode of the build. 
we're gonna get started on all this I'm waiting on my electronics like I said we're gonna put like two fly colors right here and two 3200 milliamp 4s packs like right here with these 2968s in the boat now I'm probably not gonna be able to run the water jackets with these motors so I'm gonna have to come up with um, some type of like ingenious idea to cool these motors down motor mount see how the motor sits in there perfect without the water jacket so I'm gonna make a custom mount and I think I'm gonna incorporate some water cooling I might do the water cooling like instead of wrapping the motors around I wonder and you guys can comment and let me know if you think this will work or not but running tubes long ways like one two two runs here two runs on the other side instead of wrapping it you know like they used to old school wrap wrap a brass tube around it I wonder if like if we put a brass tube here here and like connect them if that would work if we did cooling that way put one here one here one there and one there or even make the aluminum plate on the bottom and put the incorporate a couple of tubes into the aluminum water cooling plate on the bottom of the motor because we have plenty of room down here too a few ideas I'm, I'm throwing out there you guys uh, can comment let me know if you have any ideas or uh, if you'd like to see something done to the boat you got an idea for it just you know shout a quick comment out on it I might do a live stream one day with this uh, as soon as I get monetized uh, which I'm working on so all your likes comments they all help my channel out and I'm trying to grow the channel once we start getting paid for the channel we'll be able to do even bigger and better builds so yeah comment like subscribe and all that good good but uh but yeah that's kind of my thoughts on this boat what we're going to do kind of how we're going to do it um, and we'll get we'll get the build going soon I've got some stuff coming in the mail so within the next couple of weeks we'll start building I appreciate you guys watching. Big B with Ironclad RC. The channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good, good. <laughs> Ring them bells and all the whistles. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.